sad to say it, but it happened again. Someone decided to break into my Jeep again. Dang it! The first time it happened, someone cut my back window, which spawned this video idea, where I put a camera in the back of my Jeep, kind of like those Tesla security systems. This time, even though the camera was in place, they got lucky and cut the side window open and came in that way. So I'm gonna take this negative, try to turn it into a positive, and make a video out of it. And I'm gonna make a more robust security system for my Jeep this time. The idea of how to fix this problem came to me when I was trying to buy an SD card. I had to ask an employee to come over and unlock it from the little alarm system it was attached to. While I waited, I looked at alarm systems on the devices that were close to the SD card. They all had that little black hockey puck that was stuck to the side with cables wrapping around it. The way it actually works is you break the cable, you break the circuit, and an alarm goes off. What if I could run little wires inside of the windows of my Jeep to where when anyone cuts it, an alarm goes off? I'm gonna make this device and then put it out there on Jeep forums or anywhere else where there's cars with soft tops so we can try to solve the problem of people getting away with cutting open our windows and stealing our stuff. I searched on Amazon to find an extremely loud 12 volt siren and this is what I came up with. Just for context, this is me talking at a normal speaking voice. And here's the siren. The specs say it can output 120 decibels. That's pretty loud. That. Okay, researchers have found yada yada. 85 decibels are higher, much greater risk of hearing loss. So these kids might go deaf. Well, don't cut open my Jeep, how about that? Let's make the circuit, then I can figure out how I want to mount it and where I'm going to run the wires. I've got the circuit all hooked together. It's extremely simple. Hi, no welcome. microcontroller required at all. It's just incoming power at 12 volts. I have a chicken supervising. The power is coming into the breadboard, going to the siren, and then everything else is going through this transistor. Basically, the two outside legs of the transistor are connected together via this rail. So when I pull up on one of these, pretty much breaking the circuit, the siren should go off. I've got hearing protection, by the way, so I don't go deaf. <laughs> First thing I'm going to do is try to run the siren at 12 volts and see how loud it is, even with hearing protection on. Oh my. Yeah, I'd say that's extremely loud. I'm going to try breaking the circuit and seeing if the siren goes off and everything works perfectly. I'll show you a little bit better view. Just break this circuit. Circuit, check. I'm just gonna clean it up, solder things together to where it's not on a breadboard and it can fit inside my Jeep and somewhere inconspicuous. After doing that, I'll figure out how I'm gonna run the wiring inside of my Jeep to where if someone cuts my window or unzips it, breaks some sort of little wire, it'll set off the alarm and break this connection. So the device works great after I got everything all prettied up. However, while looking at my extremely professional wiring diagram, I worried that the length of wire that I'm gonna have to run to the three windows is too long and the gauge of the wire that I'm using is too small. Too long and too small of a wire where there would actually be a voltage drop through the wire great enough to set off the alarm prematurely. But after running 40 feet of wire and connecting it, the alarm's not going off. Because I was curious, I checked on my multimeter and figured out there's about nine ohms of resistance through this 40 feet of little tiny wire. Obviously, if this device pulled a lot of current, I would be worried about that wire heating up, but this is next to no current going through that little siren, so I'm good. This is my old window that just recently got cut up. I'm trying to figure out now where to run the wires, where it won't be visible to me or to people on the outside, and it'll completely cover this. So if someone cuts it, if I run it, because it's got to be near the zipper at the bottom, they would have to cut this part or cut down here or take off the window to get through, right? Like if they cut this, they can't crawl in. This wire's so small, you're not going to be able to see it. See, you can't, you can't see that. You can't see that on camera. Sadly, having the window here doesn't accomplish much because I need to get the whole route down for my Jeep. Uh, but it's dark outside, so I'll see you tomorrow. Might have gone a little overboard for this demonstration. Once all these components go in my Jeep, obviously these are going to be hidden under my seat. The wire is going to be on the opposite side, but you can see if it was running through, you can't really see it. It's not that noticeable. It'll be fine. Also, all the little trigger wires are going to be put together in series using the little pin connectors that come with Arduino kits. And I'll be sure to put the end of the connectors by the zippers so if anyone unzips it, it can disconnect them. Okay, now imagine I'm a criminal. <laughs>
back in the Jeep again. I'm gonna run the wires and I'll probably stitch it into the sides because what we learned from last time and during the demonstration is that cutting it and it not being fixed in the middle just makes it flop too much so there's a chance that it won't break. So I'll figure something out. Why? Serious. That's a cut. Someone stabbed this side too. The continuity in these videos is impeccable. I went ahead and installed all the cables in the windows of my Jeep. Hopefully you can see I've got the wire going down and it's looped around the zipper. So if the zipper goes up, it'll pull the connectors apart and set off the alarm. And I've done this for every zipper on my soft top. Along the back too, right here, there's the cable up against it. I'll show a close up. I got the camera set to where I can't show too much of the background because I don't trust people. I installed a kill switch just in case this thing goes off or if it goes off and I want to stop it in a place that I can easily reach while I'm driving, but I'm not going to show it to you because <laughs> kind of the point of the video. But yes, is it pretty? No. Is it effective? I hope so. And I hope I don't have to use it, but if I do, hopefully it scares them off from digging around and messing anything up in here once that 120 decibels hits their ears. And with that, I really appreciate all of you watching, making it till the end of this video. Um, if you want the diagrams and circuit drawings and everything, resources, I'll link them below right under the subscribe button. Y'all have a good day and don't steal from people. See you later. <laughs>